Thiessen, co-host of the American Enterprise Institute's new podcast, What the Hell is Going On, and Fox News contributor, and Chris Hahn, do you want me to say that for you on the podcast? Um, Chris Hahn, syndicated radio host and former aide to Senator Chuck Schumer. Um, you know, you have to wonder, Chris Hahn, that that longing for President mm. Obama, um, on, on the one hand, you know, she wants him to be a voice of stability and civility, but on the other hand, does it, does it signal that there's something deeply missing in the, in the Democrat field? Well, I think it's a little bit of both, Martha. I I think if I was running for president right now, I'd be channeling Obama's optimism of America and contrasting it with the president's pessimism and viewing uh, America somehow as a, uh, a pastoral scene from the gallant South, which most Americans feared. So I think it's time for whoever is running for president right now to start looking at Obama's tapes, finding that voice. And if you don't have that voice, maybe it's time to get off the stage. There's too many of you anyway. And I think we're going to find somebody like that. Crises like these bring out the best in people who want to lead. And let's see what happens. Really? Mark, what do you think? <laughs> well, I think one thing is, I mean, look, Obama is obviously an iconic figure in the Democratic Party, but with the exception of Joe Biden, Amy Klobuchar, or a handful of people, the entire Democratic field is running against his legacy. I mean, if you think about it, Obamacare is considered to be too moderate today in today's Democratic Party. Obama said to the American people, if you like your health plan, you can heap your health plan. It was a lie, but at least he felt compelled to lie to the American people because he thought that's what they wanted. Today, Democrats say Medicare for all. Mark, Everybody's going to have government-run health care. The moment uh, right and, now. And, you're and, missing the moment, and, Mark. You're Ob missing the moment. No, I'm not. The moment not right now moment, is to define America no. as, is it this racist past from the 30s and 40s and 50s that the president Nobody's seems to be longing for? Somebody to go back to where they came from. My grandfather, who came here from Germany, was told to go back to where he came from because he was a Jew. And there are many immigrant you know, family stories like that. And when they hear language like that from the President of the United States, who should have Chris, grace, who should rise above this rhetoric and be welcoming to all, you long for somebody you know, like Obama, whether you agree with him or not, you, he had grace you know, when Chris, he had that office. Chris, do you know why Donald Trump is in the White House? I will tell you why Donald Trump is in the White House today, is because millions of Americans in states like Michigan and Ohio and Pennsylvania Thousands who voted twice for Barack Obama are not Thousands. racist, voted twice for the first African-American right. president in American history, switched their votes to Donald Trump. And yeah, the, they rolled they the dice. Well, I'll they no. rolled the let dice, me, my no, friend. Chris, and let me tell Chris, you, I, let you I don't speak. think they're going to roll me, the dice me, that way Chris, again. are you okay. going to let me speak? Chris, hold on. Go are you going to stop interrupting me? Go ahead. The reason they switched is because Obama promised them hope and change, and they got neither. They lost two. 200,000 manufacturing jobs on Obama and Biden's watch, and Barack Obama actually said, get used to it, yeah. those jobs aren't coming back. Yeah. Well, guess what? 500,000 manufacturing jobs yeah. under Donald Trump, the lowest <laughs> unemployment for the lowest yeah, unemployment for, 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 for uh, Americans without a high school over. education, he had lowest percentage of African Americans, the lowest you know, unemployment for Hispanics. Stop the spin and the Republican no. talking Chris, points. Chris, oh, no. Chris, Chris, hold on, you know what? Hold on, guys, hold on. Chris, the, the fact of the matter is that, that Donald Trump won the presidential election, that he won yeah. it in the states that Mark mentioned. Yep. I know it's not by a margin that impresses you, but the, no. the matter of fact is Sad. that he won the Electoral College. And, right. you know, that, that's the situation. And he also reached out to the so-called forgotten Americans who came exactly. out and voted in a way that they had not in a long time. Right. And some of them did vote for President Obama and then yeah. they switched over and voted for President Trump. Those are all facts. That's not an exaggeration True. and there's nothing inaccurate about fact. it. I, I want to play this from, from Joe Biden this morning um, because he is trying very hard to be the legacy to President Obama despite the fact that President Obama has chosen so far not to endorse him or come out in support of him. Maybe that will come down the road. Here's Joe Biden this morning. A lot of people want to know about your relationship with President Obama. Are you in contact? You worked with him for eight years. Your buds. Um, why no endorsement? Because I've asked him not to do that. I don't want to put him in that spot. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to earn this on my own. And this will be, this is not a, this is not a third term of Obama. This is, the world's changed. It's, it's different. We have the same value set, he and I. You know, and I don't think we give him enough credit. He's a guy that our kids could look up to, and they did look up to. All right, so here's my question for you, Chris. When you talked a moment ago about somebody taking that mantle, yep. someone speaking that way, someone being eloquent, talking yep. about hope and change, is Joe Biden the person that jumps into your mind when you imagine that legacy? You no. Know. He's not, and I'll, I'll be honest with you. You know, I don't know if he's Bruce Willis in the sixth sense right now. I don't know, okay? He might still have a chance to be president of the United States, but I'm not seeing it the last couple of weeks. He needs to turn things around in a dramatic way between now and September. If he doesn't, he's done. Mark, what do you think? 
Well, I think that Joe, I think you're, you're, you're right, Chris, uh, that, uh, that Joe Biden is not being, picking up the Obama mantle, but he's the only one carrying the Obama policy mantle. The, the Democratic Party has gone so far left. I mean, remember when, when Barack Obama said during his State of the Union address that it is absolutely false that illegal immigrants will get health care under my plan, and Joe, and Joe Wilson stood up and said, you lie. And, that, and he apologized for that. He shouldn't have done that. But guess what? He's been vindicated because almost every, every candidate Democrat yeah, stood up, okay. uh, raised every, their no, hand, Chris and said, fact, "Free health care for that illegal they immigrants." And oh, by the way, they want to get right, Chris? Well, because illegal aliens have health care right now when they go to the emergency room. We got to find a realistic way to pay for it and stop with this so nonsense yeah. that we're not paying for. Socialism and impeachment is your platform. We don't deny care to people who are sick and dying in our hospitals. So they're going to go there. We're going to pay triple for it when we could just put them on a plan. No, I mean that's clear. I mean that is the Democratic platform right now. I'm, I'll All ask, illegal I'll ask Mark, should be covered. Mark, should hospitals the, deny care to people who are here undocumented? Nobody's saying that hospitals should deny right. care. So we're giving we're, them no, care. No, hold on. You, no, you, you ask me a question. Let me in answer it. Chris, yeah, stop filibustering. You don't want to face okay? reality and pay for it Chris, in a normal way. Chris, you'd rather spend you know triple what? when we could pay. Chris is going to blow a gasket. Mark, one last <laughs> Sorry, thought. Go ahead. It's okay. It's okay. One last thought, Mark. You know what? I mean, the, there is a difference between denying illegals health care at a hospital if they have an emergency and having a policy of decriminalizing cr border crossings, free health care for, uh, for illegal aliens, which is going to create, turn America into a magnet for people to come over here. Free stuff, socialism and free open stuff. borders is a path to national suicide. I mean, and yeah. that's the free stuff, Mark. Mark. We got to figure out who's If you know that once stuff. you get here, everything is going to be free and you're going to be taken care of, it, there's absolutely the no reason. Free, free, free child care. Absolutely. Free but you have to come in legally, Chris. You have to come here legally, yeah. just we, as generations of ancestors yep. did. That's the way the process there's, works. And the fact that there is no process is on Congress. There is a way it's for, there, and Congress. you're right, and there's a way and for them to Democrats rectify right it right now. now. The, there was a 2013 uh, Border Security, Economic Opportunity, and Immigration uh, Modernization Act that passed the Senate with Lindsey Graham supporting it. If they introduced <laughs> it in the House today, it would pass, yep. and it would have to pass the Senate again, and the president would get it done, and he'd Do be it. a hero for it, and maybe put this racist incident behind him. Oof. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to leave it there. I, I, he's not going to blow a gasket because he's a no, runner. No, I love you. I know, he's in good shape. I love he's you too, Mark. Thank you, guys. Good to <laughs> Thanks, see you both Chris. tonight. All right, coming up next, Democrats attempt to court.